Another reaction that is related to the ester hydrolysis reaction is known as transesterification. In this reaction, we basically transform one ester compound into a different ester compound in the presence of excess alcohol, either under basic or under acidic conditions. So let's begin our discussion of the reaction mechanism for transesterification under basic conditions. So under basic conditions in the presence of excess alcohol we have the alkoxide molecule that acts as the nucleophile. So we have the alkoxide that acts as the nucleophile attacking this carbon forming a bond between oxygen and carbon displacing the pi bond placing it onto this oxygen here. So in step number one we have the addition reaction taking place in which we form this tetrahedral intermediate ion that has a negative charge on this oxygen. Now notice that this R group is different than this R group. So let's suppose this is designated by R but this is designated by R prime. So basically what happens in step number two we have our elimination reaction taking place in which a pi bond is reformed between this oxygen and our carbon and instead of kicking off this group we kick off the original alkoxide group that is attached to our carbon and we form this ester compound in which this group has been replaced with this group that came from this original alkoxide. So in the addition step, in step number one, the alkoxide nucleophilically attacks the carbon position. In the second step, our elimination step, the other alkoxide group that was originally on the ester is kicked off and the net result is we replace this OR group with this OR prime group. Now we see that under basic conditions we have a simple two-step reaction mechanism. Now what about acidic conditions? So the end result under acidic conditions is exactly the same but instead of having a two-step mechanism as we do for basic conditions we have a six-step mechanism. So in step number one we don't really have a strong enough nucleophile under acidic conditions. So in step number one we have to protonate this oxygen of this carbon oxygen bond so that we transform this poor Lewis acid into a much better Lewis acid and then the alcohol can react with this Lewis acid as we'll see in just a moment. So step number one we have the protonated alcohol group that basically protonates this oxygen to form a resonance stabilized intermediate. So the protonated ester. Now in step number two the alcohol that was formed in step number one now attacks tax this carbon of the strong Lewis acid and we form this intermediate here, the tetrahedral intermediate that contains a positive charge on this oxygen. Notice once again we're designating this R group with R prime and these R groups with simply R. So in step number three we basically have to deprotonate this oxygen so that we remove the positive charge on this oxygen. Why? Well because whenever we have a positive charge on an oxygen that is a very destabilizing effect because oxygen is electronegative. So in step three we have an alcohol molecule basically deprotonating this oxygen forming this intermediate in which we no longer have a charge on that oxygen. Now in the next step we have to somehow kick off this group, this original alkoxide group. Now in the way that we have it drawn here this is not a very good leaving group and under acidic conditions what we're going to do is transform this poor leaving group into a much better leaving group. 
And so we have our conjugate acid to the alcohol base molecule that was formed in this step when this deprotonated our oxygen here. Now this protonates this oxygen forming this intermediate in which we have this good leaving group, our alcohol. And in step number five, we have our elimination reaction taking place in which a double bond, a pi bond is formed between between this oxygen and the carbon and we form this resin stabilized intermediate as well as our alcohol molecule because alcohol is kicked off. Now, in the final step, the alcohol that was kicked off basically acts as our base, taking away the H atom from this oxygen, forming a double bond here, and placing these two electrons onto this oxygen. And we form this final ester product in which we have replaced the alkoxide group, the original alkoxide group, with the new alkoxide group of our alcohol that we have in our mixture. We also reform our acid as shown. So we see that the transesterification reaction is basically a type of hydrolysis in which we basically replace one alkoxide group of our ester with another different alkoxide group of our alcohol. So we transform one ester into a different ester.